everyone. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to navigate using the WeWalk Smart Cane 2. So first of all, you need to make sure that your cane is connected with the WeWalk app. And then to access one of your saved locations, you will uh, activate the voice menu feature. And to do that, you will press the third button on the cane, the circular button. My places. So now I've entered the voice menu. And now to access my saved locations, I will press the select button again. Okay, now it's going to go through all of my safe locations. I can go back and forth by using the arrow buttons. So that's that. this is the place I want to go to and start navigation to. So to start navigation, I will press the third button on the cane one more time. Go there. One more time. That's that. Rota one walking. Two minutes. So now it's giving me different route options. But since this place only has the walking option, that is the navigation choice we're going to make. And to select that and to start that, I will press the select button once more. Go straight on to Professor B. Caravacciolo CD in 60 feet. Target is 480 feet away in the slightly right direction. Restart navigation. Head on Professor B. Caravacciolo CD. So now we're going to start the navigation. Turn right on to Professor B. Caravacciolo CD in 200 feet. Head on Professor B. Caravacciolo CD. So as I'm moving, it will keep updating the uh, navigation direction it's giving me and it will inform me before I have to turn left or turn right. Head straight on Professor B. Caravacciolo CD for 120 feet. Turn sharp left. Head on Professor B. Caravacciolo CD. Head on Professor B. Caravacciolo CD. Turn sharp right in 60 feet and will be on your left in 70 feet. Head on for 70 feet. So now that we've reached the destination that we were navigating to, the navigation is 100% complete, and that's how we know that we've reached our final spot. So that's how you navigate using the WeWalk Smart Team 2 and by utilizing the voice menu feature. So another way to start navigation is by using the voice assistant feature. So to access that and to utilize that, what you're going to do is, this time you will long press the select button until you hear a chime sound. And once you hear that sound, you can ask it to navigate you to any place of your choice. And then it's gonna start the turn-by-turn -turn navigation accordingly. I'm going to demonstrate that now. Navigate me to Metro. I found five addresses. I will sort it based on distance, starting with the nearest location. Okay, now if you want to go back and forth with the menu, uh, with the options that it's giving you, you can use the upward and downward facing arrow button. So to go to the uh, list one by one, I will press the upward facing button. An address one I2 Ayazaga is to see on you. 1,630 feet, Maslip, Sarajevo, Istanbul, Turkey. So that is the metro station that I actually want to go to. So now to select that, I will press the circular button, the third button on the cane. The selected address I2 Ayazaga is to see on you. Rota 1 walking, 9 minutes. Mm -hmm. So by walking, it's telling me it's going to be 9 minutes. So since that's the only option, we are going to select that. The target is 1,390 feet away in the behind you direction. Okay, so now it's going to start the turn-by-turn -turn navigation step. So now I can follow the instructions and it will guide me to the metro station. Okay, so that was all about how you can start navigation using the voice menu and the voice assistant features. And if you have any more questions, feel free to reach out to us at info at and we walk together.